first thing that the producer sent us to do was to go do a commercial for Kellogg's out in the, out in the desert, out in the Palm Desert. And um, we drove out in Mike's brand new Buick Riviera, which was the hot car of the day, and um, didn't say a word to each other, you know, nice day. <clears throat> it's like that. Hungry? <clears throat> pull into a diner. Okay, we're hungry, we're going to pull into a diner, we stop. And uh, we sit there, the four of us at the table, not knowing anything about each other, order foods. Mickey and I got our salads coming at the same time, and the way I ate salad then, pretty much still do. <laughs> the fork goes into the bowl, and whatever comes up on the fork goes into the mouth. Davy said, you pigs. Anyone would think you was raised in a barn the way you guys is eating. <laughs> Well, Davy's salad comes. He looks up at the waitress and nods, thank you. <clears throat> Cuts the salad into one inch strips. Turns the bowl 90 degrees. Cuts the strips into one inch squares. Pours a lot of ranch dressing on the salad. Tosses it and takes a fistful of it and smashes it in his face. So that was my first indication of who, who I was dealing with when I was Jones. That's it. Thank you. Slower. Sorry. A little nervous, sorry. I'm a little nervous. I'm a big nervous, actually. <laughs> but just tell me how you felt like once you guys got to actually become a band. Slower. <laughs> when you guys actually got to become a band, how you felt about that? What? What about them? What was um, my opinion of them? Yeah. That's all I held for. What do you think my opinion is? There's nothing I wanted more in my life right then to be a member of the band. Yeah. Yellow shirt. Yellow shirt. Where's the yellow shirt? Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Yellow shirt. About your impression about his work on that script as well as the assembly of the soundtrack. I have no information as to which part of the script was Bob's and which part was Jack's. Um, so I can't possibly comment. I just know that Jack brought an attitude, and Bob fell in love with Jack, uh, artistically speaking, um, because uh, Jack was bringing, you know, a real, hey, how you doing, yeah. He brought that attitude. And, and, you know, that was, that was something special. It was an extra energy that we all had. I mean, as soon as Jack arrived on the stage, Mike was going, hey, I'm talking to you now. <laughs> uh, Mike just went, <laughs> Mike think, hey, now wait a minute. And, and, um, and that's in the movie, you know that bit where, hey, now wait a minute, that's Jack, hey. And um, so we, we kind of went for Jack in, in a big way. Um, and, uh, you know, he, Incidentally, you, you probably know that Jack arranged and assembled the album as well as what he did on the movie. And so there's this wonderful little bit where Mike goes, um, uh, somebody, oh, Zappa, at one scene, says to Davy, it's pretty white. Yeah. And they've got Michael going, and the same thing goes for Christmas. <laughs> Which is, like, that's, that's from a completely different place in the album. So creative, I, I thought, you know, and the stuff, the soundtrack, the effects. I thought Jack did a fabulous job putting that record together because he was you know, curious and he's an intense artist, as everybody knows. And um, uh, uh, and so it's hard to tell, but I really, I know that he upped the level of the energy and and the and the you know a little bit of just a little bit of vinegar just to keep it from getting too sweet. And I know all of that was Jack's contribution. That's the best I could do. It, it, and, and there was a certain amount of surprise to his being willing to join us, uh, but when we got to work, I began to see why. Um, something Mike's changed a bit. Uh, you know, for a long time it was really important for Mike to be armored and upright, and and he's become more um, communicative, more more willing to join, more exploratory in terms of people to people. And so he wanted to see what that meant for him as an artist, as an entertainer, to be back together with us in this thing. And it was fabulous. I mean, you know, he's, uh, he's become 
uh, much more accepting and gentle and, and uh, uh, warm, and uh, he's been a pleasure to work with, and not that he wasn't always, but to a much greater extent, and, uh, and it's, a, it's a delight to have him with us. I hope that tackles the question. And with that, we have a special surprise. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Nesbitt! Shut up, shut up! Sit down, don't be silly. Thank you all very much, ladies and gentlemen. 